In the beginning, there was peace in the chemistry labs. Food dye was analyzed, and pigments were separated. But that all changed the day the lipids came. With the assistance of starch and protein, the lipids appeared as unknown substances, taking over all aspects of the once peaceful lab. Friends became enemies, and many partners, demoralized and exhausted, succumbed to the supremacy of the lipids. But some resisted. Many lab partners united with others in a last alliance that would devise numerous tests to isolate the lipids from its starch and protein allies and proving that it had been extracted from the unknown substance. This is the tale of one of those alliances. This is the tale of the dismantling of substance 2C7. Assigned food snack sample was 2C7. To isolate the lipid, we centrifuged around 1 gram of the assigned snack food using 2 milliliters of cyclohexane and 2 milliliters of fantasia. We boiled the top cyclohexane layer of the centrifuge tube in a beaker until it evaporated to allow us to extract the lipid, and we performed an iodine test on the substance left in the beaker. Then, we calculated the percent effect by weight, efficiency, and the corrected mass of the lipid. Add one drop of iodine to each beaker after the cyclohexane has been evaporated. If the iodine has turned yellow, orange, or red, then the starch is absent. If not, starch is still present. Coconut oil and protein powder both underwent solvent solvent extractions with cyclohexane and NaCl. And NaCl was observed to separate the protein and lipids by using cyclohexane and NaCl. Compare the observations of this with observations of the coconut oil and protein powder. If no protein is present in NaCl, then protein is absent in the lipid. After running it in the centrifuge, we pipette out the top layer, which is the cyclohexane layer, and put it into an empty beaker. We put that beaker into boil to extract our lipid. After extracting the lipid, we do an iodine test on what's left inside the beaker. After that, we calculate the percent fat by weight, efficiency, and corrected mass of lipid. For our control test, we had two more centrifuge tubes that we would fill, each with 4 milliliters of cyclohexane and 4 milliliters of NaCl. In one of the tubes, we put 1 gram of coconut oil, in the other, we put 1 gram of corn oil. We ran them in the centrifuge. For our starch, we put together an iodine test for starch, in which the results from substance 2C7 in trial 1 was pink, trial 2 was red, and trial 3 was red. For the coconut oil, it was orange, orange, and red orange. Now for the unknown substance 2C7, it was not salted out in the NACL and did not resemble the protein control test. For group B's calculations, we started by finding the average percent fat by weight of the uncorrected lipid mass. blessings of my OCD, we managed to get our total substance grams to exactly 1.000 grams. Not 1.001, not 0 0.999, but exactly 1.000 